So a lot of you guys have been asking for it. So here it is. This is the official house tour. We're just gonna get right into it, guys. This is the entrance of the new crib. And just before I go off and just walk around and show you guys all the rooms and like everything we've set up so far, keep in mind that everything is not being done set up. This is like literally just like, I think we moved into this crib about a week ago. And a lot of you guys know the situation with the Airbnb stuff. Basically, I got rid of the old crib in hopes that the condo that I had waiting was gonna be ready, but COVID pushed it back. Honestly, thank God because of that. It made me think, okay, is the condo gonna be big enough because we got the dogs, me, Sylvia, all this stuff. And I was like, honestly, I don't think it is. So instead of going into the condo, I got a different spot we looked non-stop for like two months and finally we found the perfect place it's not a hundred percent complete we still gotta add a lot of stuff but i'm super excited to show you guys so this is the main area let's say you're just walking in the door your main area you come in just look at this super open guys super open is like me and sylvia made sure to get something that was super open because going to all these different houses that we've been in recently like being cramped is the worst feeling one thing that we wanted to make sure when we got this crib is that we felt open we felt like we wanted to be here all the time invite people over have friends over most importantly have a backyard yard so that the friggin' dogs could go to the bathroom, take them on walks and all that stuff. So this is just like everything in one. And it's really modern, which I fucking love because I'm a big fan of like farm type houses and modern houses. Those are like my favorite two types of houses. I'm not a big fan of older ones. So yeah, you come in the house, you take a right and the first room right here is kind of like an office space. Right at the front of the house, honestly, shout out to our assistant, Tara. Tara does most of her like work here. We didn't know what we wanted to do in the front room. We might get couches and maybe put like one here or one here. But until then, we already had this table from the old house. This is like in my computer room and I was getting sick of it because it can't go up and down, which is super bougie to say, but at the same time, bro, I'm tall as fuck. So when I'm sitting at the computer forever, all I wanna do is stand up sometimes and I still wanna work. So I ordered one of those bougie ass sit and stand desks. And this one just felt like way too short, but it's the perfect thing for this front area. So moving on. You come in this way, you see the office vibes, which is nice. This is simple for now. Got the printers and all that. We're probably gonna rearrange that. You're going through here. Now this is entering the kitchen. There's a bunch of like cupboards up here. I low key been hiding my chips and stuff in there because Sylvia can't reach them. Literally they're super high. And I love these clear little things. So this is like our microwave and coffee area. In the morning we make the coffees, warm some food up if we need to. And it has a tap here just so you don't have to run all the way to the sink to make your coffee in the morning. And I made sure to be super organized in this house. Literally look at all my food dyes for DIY is coming up. You already know the vibes. Also the wine fridge that I got. You guys already seen that, that fits perfectly. And then behind me right here is the pantry. Nothing fancy about a pantry, but you know, we keep the food in here. So the food is here, some nice keto treats. These are actually fire, I got these from Costco. Dark chocolate and coconut almond vibes, fire as fuck, it's just a pantry. But yo, my favorite area, and this is what I made sure that we got something that I really loved when we got this crib, is the kitchen, and this is why. Obviously, a majority of my main channel videos and all that are filmed in the kitchen, which means the kitchen is like my temple, okay? A lot of you guys may go outside and film, I do that too, but the kitchen for me is like the makeup room is for Sylvia. So we pimped it out and literally it's like a black and white theme. I already said this, looks like fucking pianos, bro. We got the black cupboards that came like this. I think we're gonna change these handles in the long run into like black ones, but like just look at this vibe, bro. Super open, the lights are now not hanging in my face, which they always do in freaking videos. So I made sure to not only get ones that I like, but put them high high enough for the kitchen. And then also in the kitchen, we got the huge freaking fridge. Half of the fridge is the freezer, this side. We're not doing cribs, so I'm not showing you guys inside the fridge. It's not that detailed, okay, relax. And then this open concept is just like my dream, okay? All of the pot lights in the friggin' ceiling. You can look down from upstairs. It's glassy, you can see through, you don't feel trapped. Couch vibes from the old crib just to make it homey. And then the TV. Everyone that has been to this house so far has made a comment about how the TV is way too high, okay? I'm 6'5", and me standing right here, probably about 6'5 off the ground. Is that too high? Because honestly, when I'm sitting down in the freaking couch like this, post yeah, you know, vibes, you look up and it's like the perfect height. Well, at least for me, it seems like the perfect height. But everyone else says, oh, it's too high, my neck hurts, but I don't know. That's where they had it set up for when we moved in the house, so I'm not moving it. <laughs> and then this is like the dining room area right over here. We got a nice table and bench. 
to match. We already had these chairs from the old house. This is one of the lights I bought from the store. Oh, what am I even going to? I don't even know my own house. This is a bathroom over here, I think. So bathroom right here. We need to shave that in and fog that window because <laughs> privacy. I mean, the neighbors can literally see us, so it's not a vibe, but let's see the garage. Boom. Another thing that I love about this house is the garage, if I turn on the light, it has super bright lights in it. Not to mention that it's all white. It is just good lighting. I could be filming in the middle of the night. The garage is just a vibe, yo. So the garage is a three car garage and we set up bare shit. All the gym stuff is in here for now. We're probably gonna put it in the basement. The couch from the old spot, which we're probably gonna put in the condo. Please be ready soon. And then all the storage and just extra supplies. And I've organized everything on this wall. Got the pressure washers and all that stuff and extra merch. Everything is super organized on this wall because in the last house, nothing was organized. And every time I needed something, I couldn't find it. So I learned a lot from the old house. So this is like coming out from this area. You see the backyard vibes. Another one of the reasons why we got the house. This is just a massive backyard, pretty much our property goes until that little blue thing over there. And then it goes all the way down here, all the way down here until that ditch up here, guys, which is stupid big. <laughs> Pool coming in soon, patio and all that stuff is coming in soon. Like I said, when we bought this place, we bought this because we knew it needed some work, but I've never done that before. I actually wanted to try it out. I wanted to get something that was not completely done because I wanted to learn. But honestly, I'm not minding living in the house <laughs> until the backyard is done. <laughs> and another thing, this is super low key. This is super uh, me just being OCD, but like we measured everything, which you should do when you get a house to make sure your furniture stuff fits perfectly. Literally everything in this house is measured to the T and literally there's no space in between it. And we made them brown. As much as it is of a modern house, we also wanted just homey vibes because in LA, which by the way, we're going back to LA soon. <laughs> like a lot of people think we left LA forever. No, we just had to get a lot of shit done here before we went back there. But yeah, there's a lot of houses in LA that are super nice, obviously, but it's just like, you don't want to live in them because they have no homey vibe. It's just everything is like, the floors are all like shiny and stuff like this counter and they just feel cold all the time and like to look at in pictures they're freaking sick right but living in them you get bored of it real quick so that's why i made sure to add the carpet and all the furniture from our old house just to give it that homey vibe and for all the people that care about cable management and stuff like this in like two weeks all this stuff will be gone we're replacing it okay there's a sound system coming in it's gonna be clean but for now it needs to look like that okay moving on so that's the kitchen and all that stuff this painting i just wanted to get from the store because i thought it was cool as hell and got like a nice console table for when you walk in the house you're like oh my god wolfie's freaking artsy i have no fucking idea what any of this shit is, but it looks cool. So, you know, plays the part. But yeah, that over here is another room. Right now, we don't really know what this is. I kind of wanted to make a room in the house that was like, I was calling it like the B-roll room because like anytime I'm showing something in a video, I wanted to have like tripods and everything set up. So I got all my tripods and extra cameras and stuff like that here. Some more video supplies, some cameras, some batteries, all that stuff. Another painting. This is low-key like more of a storage room for now, <laughs> like a bed frame. But it is a big room with pot lights everywhere. So that's good. I'm sure we'll find a better use for that room as time goes on. But uh, for now, yeah, it's it's chilling. Going upstairs, and you'll notice that there's windows everywhere. Because of our house in LA, we like to feel like we're inside, but outside at the same time. But anyways, you go up the stairs and just look at this view. Look at this view. Come on, man. Let's say I'm down here. Sylvia's up in the bedroom, which I'll show you in a sec. I forget something. She's like, okay, no worries. Chucks it down here. Whoop, I catch it. Boom. No need to walk down all these stairs because I'm lazy. <laughs> but yeah, you get up all these stairs and right on your left is another bathroom. We literally matched everything perfectly. As you guys can see, the counters, which came with the house, match the freaking soap dispenser that we got and all that stuff. I installed all these. You guys already know Handyman Wolfie and his bitch. Nice shower for guests, towel rack, which I installed. <laughs> I don't want to brag or anything, but like, I'm too greasy with it. And then over here is my, like, my pride and joy. You guys already know. I'm planning on doing a bunch of different videos in the future. So I set up a studio kind of to make music in here, but also just to, I'm saying too much, but yeah, this is my man cave. Last night, Sylvia and I literally just spent probably about 30 minutes putting up all these sound boards on the walls just to make sure the audio in here was pretty good. Doesn't need to be perfect or anything. Got the TV here just in case I wanna watch streamers. I have a light set up because your boy's doing some sit down videos soon. You see the light? You see the mic vibes? You see this? Bro, come on. I feel like no matter what house I'm in, I'm always gonna find a way to put a laptop or something on friggin' box. This is super ghetto looking, but it works, okay? That's the main thing. If it ain't broke, do not fix it. So I have my man cave vibes right here. I got my mic set up. I haven't set my recording mic up. 
but I'm gonna set that up tomorrow. So it's kind of like my gaming cave slash my recording cave in one. I have my monitors, my secret monitors there, charging cable, everything. The stand-up desk should be in tomorrow, but for now, I have my Ikea ones, which have literally lasted me forever, so shout out to them. And then I got my little closet here, which is filled with extra supplies, your extra tripods and stuff like that, so. Now, if we go down the hallway, we've seen this, we've seen this, go this way. It's a guest bedroom, this is boring, so I'm not really gonna go into that. But go further, we have the laundry room, and the laundry room is just, okay, cool, let me get some, <laughs> get some shots of this. As you guys can tell, we are trying our best to keep it organized. Right now it is pretty organized. So you got like nice wooden shelves. I love these shelves. And then over here is the linen closet. So extra blankets and pillows and all that stuff. Just in case we have guests over and they need something to sleep with. And then at the end of the hall also is Sylvia's makeup room. But I'm not gonna do a tour of that because I'll let her do a tour of that. Last but not least is pretty much the cherry on top of the cake. This is where we've been sleeping every night. The master bedroom. I am a huge fan of Hue lights. I use them everywhere. Literally, no sponsorship, but like I fucking love Hue lights. So when I seen this little brick wall that already came with the house that I knew was gonna fit our bed perfectly with the lights behind it, bro, I was sold. As corny as it sounds, I was sold. Well, I was already sold from the bottom of the house, but as soon as we came upstairs, I was like, yo, with a little bit of changes, I feel like this house could be like amazing. Like definitely my dream house before the dream house, the actual dream house, which is a couple years down the line, but yo, I'm amped. Anyways, we got the bed right here. Nothing is in here, so don't even judge because we literally lived in this house for less than a week, I think. It has windows everywhere, so there's windows all over the walls, which is super bright. There's no blinds, but they're coming in in like two weeks. So not only are the windows, but there is also a deck. So if you come in, you open both doors, Prince and Wolfie are chilling on the bed or whatever. Come over here. We're getting this set up also. Bro, imagine just waking up and then just seeing this dutty patio. It's a crazy nice little view. You can see it's at the bathroom as well. Once we get speakers in this corner too, you can just vibe out. So you can tan. You can do whatever you want. If you want to read books up here, this is freaking big, bro. But we're not supposed to be standing on this yet because uh, yeah, the guy said if we stand, we might fall through until we have like some floating deck. <laughs> TVs here, speaker system and cool shit like that. And then right in here is like the master bathroom slash closet which is just awesome. So yeah, look at this. Another one of my favorite rooms. Literally, I feel like I've said every room is my favorite, but this one, but this one tops everything because you got one mirror right here. This is my side. This is Sylvia's side. This is something I installed, by the way, if you didn't know. So <laughs> Handyman Wolfie, you already know the vibes. And then in the center of both the mirrors, you have all the cupboards and stuff like that. With the tub and this wall is just an ultimate vibe. And one of the cool things about this house, which I didn't know about until now, is this thing. So you can pretty much just set it to whatever temperature and then just turn it on and it's always gonna be that temperature. So you never get the wrong temperature. I don't know why I fanned about that so much apparently a lot of people know that that exists i never knew that existed it's dope and then right behind the wall is the shower so like literally you want to take a little bath you feel a little bit dirty you're like hey i should wash everything else off and i couldn't get in the bathtub for some reason you go behind it and you go right into the shower which is vibes and there's no glass or anything you don't feel like claustrophobic in the shower at all because everything just rinses away down here because of how it's slanted which is dope toilet and then this cabinet behind it which is cool if i had one thing that i plan on changing in the house it's these blue covered because I don't like this blue. I'm not a big fan of this blue. Not that I don't like blue, I just don't think the blue and silver goes here. And it's kind of random when the guys sold the house to us. Yeah, just be honest with us. What do you think about the blue? I was like, yeah, I, I hate it. I definitely hate it. So either we're gonna change like the handles to like gold because I've seen pics of blue and gold and they go well together or just change that blue up to like black because majority of the house is black and white. So it would go with that theme. And then yeah, right here is the master closet, which is stupid, baby. Sylvia has like a vanity mirror that was built into the house. So this is freaking dope. Vanity mirror here and then closet, his and hers closet, little mirror here. Boom, look at this, goes all the way down there. Got this <laughs> completely filled up with Sylvia's shit. Hamper here, blah, 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 Adam stuff right here. A majority of my shit is in LA, which is really bad for me to say. That just means I have too goddamn many clothes. <laughs> what is this? I need to get rid of these. Is there a lot of you guys that are like my size? I'm like XL, double XL, six, five. Because honestly, I feel like giving it to you guys, I would do that before giving it away. That would be dope, I don't know. And even the windows in the master closet, that was so cool for me because I feel like it just 
just like at any given point, unless it's pitch black outside, anywhere in this house has like the perfect picture lighting, which as a YouTuber slash vlogger and stuff, you need lighting all the time, low key. Especially as a light skin, bro, you need lighting. Is there any other room that I need to check out? The basement, like I said, is not finished, but the basement, like let's say you come in the front of the house, it's right under these stairs. And I hope the carpet guy comes in soon to uh, put carpet on these stairs. Cause like I said, Prince will literally not walk on these stairs. It took Wolfie the first like two or three days just to walk on the stairs. Cause in our old house, he slipped down the stairs and it literally scarred him mentally for life. Like he hates stairs now and Prince just won't walk down them. So, so until we get a carpet runner, Prince is definitely not touching these stairs. And Prince and Wolfie Jr. are at my mom's house right now. So that's why the house is so quiet. But yeah, downstairs is boring AF. This is unfinished. So right now it just literally looks like nothing. Kind of scary to be down here by myself, but yeah, water machines and stuff like that. The movers left this here. But yeah, there's windows even down here, bro. Why is the lighting so wavy in the basement, bro? But as of right now, we don't have any plans of doing anything to this whole massive basement room. It goes over there, it goes over there, storage over here, blah, blah, blah. This is where we set up the internet. If you guys watch my Instagram story. By the way, guys, go follow me on Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, all that stuff. We have my notifications on if you haven't already. But yeah, we have no plans to do anything down here because we don't need to do anything. I feel like it's just the perfect amount of space for us, like just the top two levels. The basement, maybe we'll put a gym in it, but for now, there's no rush to do that. All I gotta say is not bad. Not bad for like, literally living here for a week. We've got a majority of the stuff in. And if it's not in the house already, we have ordered it. So somebody can put it in like the carpet and all that stuff. But let me know what you guys think about the new crib. Let me know what videos you would want to see us do in the new house. I am in love with this house. This might top any house that I've lived in, even in LA, just cause it's like ultimate vibes of like modern and chill. But I love you guys so much. Thank you for coming back to another video. It's been your boy Wolfie. And you already know what it is. Smash that like button, first thing. <laughs> Let's hit 10,000 likes on this video. And guys, stay a little bit more savage on my main channel. And as always, stay savage. Let go.